Hello, hello, mom, dad, me, world. So welcome to another Universal Yums unboxing where we are going to be unboxing this month's Universal Yums box, our International Yums box that we had gotten. But uh, this one had come in quite a couple weeks ago or two to three weeks ago to be exact. But without further wait, let's dive in right now. So you're going to be seeing this as I am seeing this, but where are we going? Let's check it out. Oh, looks like we are going to be going to Turkey. Yes, Turkey. Here is this guy, the booklet right here that tells us what is going to be in here for the food and of course the stickers. So. What do we have here as far as the food goes? So it looks like we are going to be eating these guys and this. It looks very delicious. Let's check it out. All right, as we open this up here, I'm going to have this right here, this booklet that comes with it, with the cheat sheet of what we're going to be looking at. And first thing we are going to take a look at are the pretzel pieces. So let us open that up. Love me some pretzels. These look very delicious. I've never had this flavor before. This is going to be a sweet corn pretzel. Yes, that is sweet corn. Popped it open from the top. Sweet corn pretzel pieces. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Very crunchy. A lot more savory than I thought. There is that hint of corn. It's a very subtle corn. Quite good. Not as sweet as I would think. So you've got savory notes, that little bit of saltiness, like if you were to butter up some corn with some salted butter, and then tastes like a plain pretzel with just that hint of corn flavor. Very, very, very subtly sweet, but not very sweet at all, but very, very good. What a great little snack right here. I'm gonna be having these later, but that was the first one. It is gonna be cracks. Craxel, I believe it is Craxel sweet corn. Not very sweet, but very, very good. Very subtle corn flavor, but uh, I would dare say a little bit more savory than sweet. So I've got a little bit of coffee here that I am going to be having with this one. This one is going to be a coffee, a coffee coconut snowball. So it says it's made by today with coffee. Cavelli. Let's open this up. That's a good looking snowball right there. Look at this guy right here. So for those of us used to having a snowball in the United States where they come pink. This one is, dare I say, cookies and cream. It has that cookies and cream look, but it looks very, very good. So we're just going to take a bite into it. I am going to have the coffee, but I'm going to put this over top of it as the crumbs do drip. This is a hardened exterior, almost like um, like an icing or a frosting, but it's not sticking to my fingers. And we've got these what I would say sprinkles, but probably it's coffee over top of it. Mm. So very soft. Mm. 
very cakey. I am gonna break it in half. Oh, look at that. That beautiful, beautiful frosting in the middle. Mm. Wow. Well, that is quite good. Oh yeah. So chocolate cake, it's got like a coconut frosting or coconut cream in the middle. And the outer, it's got this hard little bit of, um, I would say frosting or icing. Not, not overly sweet, just really, really, really delicious. Wow, that's phenomenal right there. So this right here was a snowball. I would 100% have this snack one or many, many more times. This was really, really good. This snowball with coffee. Next one up. These are cola marshmallows. Cola marshmallows. So it's supposed to be like a soda in marshmallow flavor or a marshmallow flavored soda or a soda flavored marshmallow, should I say. Interesting. So white on top, light brown on the bottom. They certainly smell like a soda. Mm. They taste like a soda and marshmallow combined. As far as the soda flavor, I can't give you, I can't distinctly tell you whether or not I taste like a Coke or a, a Pepsi flavor at all, but it definitely has a hint of soda in a marshmallow. It's actually quite good. Right, and very, very unique because I don't think I've ever had a soda flavored marshmallow. Very interesting. Next one up, it says this is a date cookie bar right here. Date, love, love me some dates, but. So it's giving off an, an impression of a Fig Newton, but just obviously bigger, longer. Mm. It tastes just like a Fig Newton. But the, um, the outer layer, that brown, a uh, bready like material, like a very, very thin cookie, not very sweet at all, but the inside has got those dates. And that is quite good, not overly sweet. And it's actually not very dry, actually. It's pretty, pretty good. Mm. A date cookie bar. Boy, that was actually really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, next one up. So apparently this is a honey mustard and onion rice cake. I love honey mustard. Honey mustard and onion in the form of a rice cake. Let's check it out. Okay. So about the size of a silver dollar obviously a little bit thicker and it's got the the yellow here from the honey mustard and it looks like there's specks of little onion in there too so 
So the first one, I'm getting more of a mustard. It's not very sweet at all. It's got that little bit of saltiness. Let me try another one. So yeah, I'm getting more of a, a, regular, must, a regular mustard flavor. But boy, that, that actually tastes really, really good. Very unique. Honey, mustard, and onion rice cake. Really, really delicious. This would be a really, really good light snack. And the last one we're coming to is a cocoa hazelnut mosaic cookie or mosaic cookies. Cocoa hazelnut mosaic cookies. Look at that, that is a good looking cookie right there. Mm. And it's actually filled with like a hazelnut spread. It's like a butter cookie but with a hazelnut spread in the middle. So very, very buttery with a nice sweet hazelnut spread, almost a Nutella, but maybe not quite as intense. But that is really good, especially with a little bit of coffee. And I'm gonna just actually dunk it right here. A little bit of coffee. Mm-hmm. So the cookie disintegrates a little bit in the coffee. Boy, a coffee and a cookie. Perfect match. That was really, really good. Really delicious. So overall, the food here from Turkey has been very unique and very, very delicious. And might I say, this is a very interesting spelling of the word Turkey or I haven't been spelling it right, so. But overall, Universal Yum's box from Turkey has absolutely been delicious. And um, if you are ever in Turkey, try some of these snacks, or if you can get some of these Turkish snacks, yeah, it's delicious. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, this has been Universal Yum's, International Yum's box for the country of Turkey, and it was delicious. Again, thank you very much. Please check out our other videos, and until next time, thanks for watching.